I want to welcome you to Second Middle Go this this month. This is uh, April, and I know that God is here. Last month we did it inside that place. I mean, last time that was January, we did it inside that place, and it was quite challenging. And I told us then that most likely we'll do it outside. So I think I'm a prophet. Don't you think so? <laughs> Praise the Lord, though. But maybe I should prophesy that the next one, we will not do it here. We will do it in our hall there. Yeah. That should be in July. That should be about three months away. Hold on, I'm one speed. We are going to build a bigger facility there. We have not been doing Sega Middle Go uh, that much before, but we just started now. And it's a quarterly meeting. Meanwhile, before we go on to, before I go on to the word of God, let me say this. When you come to the presence of God, I need you to forget about the people around you. Forget about any distraction. Don't allow people to distract you. I come here to pray. This is my prayer grant. I pray here a lot. And I have other places where I pray also. And uh, there could be a little bit of distractions here. You can see there are some vehicles moving around and so on. Meanwhile, we are plenty of us. So even we ourselves can be distractions to each, to each other. Shift your attention from the other person and focus on God. Because God is a person, you know. God is not like the vehicle that you can switch on and switch off when you like. God is a person. If you're talking to him, he knows you're talking to him. And if you're not talking to him, he won't pay attention to what you are saying either. So, don't get distracted by people around you. Sometimes in, the, uh, in my message, I, will, uh, I would allow you to go pray in other places around here, as much space as we have, so that you can do one on one between you and God. Two, when you are praying, listen also. God is a person and He talks back. One of the things I am confident about is that God will speak to you as you are here. I know it. There's a covenant to that effect. So as you're praying, God will speak to you. Now the question is do you hear what He's saying? So I need you to pay attention. Allow him to speak back to you as you're talking to him. The same way I'm talking to you and you're giving me feedback, let God give you, give you feedback. And whatever God says to you, note it because it's a personal thing. Sometimes what God will say to you, he might root it through me in front. But many times, it might just be between you and God alone. So whatever he says to you, note it and take an action on it. It's so important. Sometimes what he will say may not even be uh, connected with what you are asking, it, what we are talking about. Because sometimes God's plan is ahead of your plan. He has some greater things that he wants to do. Like, I would never have prayed for a prayer mountain. A place to pray like this wasn't on my schedule. All I needed was, Lord, give me money to pay my rent. Lord, give me money for this. Give me this. And then he said, over there, I'm giving you a land. You know. So sometimes he will say things that doesn't connect with what you're talking about. Just note it down. It's so important. And then, next time when you're coming, it's good to wear clothes that cover your body because there are some area boys around here who may want to greet you also. I'm talking of insects. So it's good that you wear clothes. Can you see the way I'm dressed? I'm simple, but I'm covered, except for my leg. Or, and then I carry this huh? so that I can greet them when they greet me. You understand? It's good, though, when you come so that you don't have plenty insect bites. Anyhow, insect bites is part of the business because then you can talk about how much you suffered when you were praying, <laughs> when you have the testimony. Praise the Lord. Oh, you don't like that one. You get used to it. Praise the Lord. 
All right. I'd like you to open your Bible to Matthew chapter 2. And I will read a story to you from verse 1 of it. Matthew chapter 2. I'll read starting from verse 1. He said, now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. So they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star appeared. And he sent them in, I mean, to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the young child. And when you have found him, bring back word to me that I may come and worship him also. When they had the king, they departed. And behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them till he came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then being divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed for their own country another way. Before I continue that, prayer, that study, there's somebody you have this um, pain, this affliction in your left side like this just under your rib. I'd like to pray for that person. Please come and meet me if you're that person. If you're that person, please come. I break the power of that affliction in the name of Jesus. Amen. You never see it again forever. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Verse 13, now when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, hey, lest I forget. One of the things you need to learn in the journey of life is you pay attention to your own business. When something comes up like that, don't think somebody will laugh at you. And don't waste your opportunity. If the Holy Spirit spoke about your problem, jump at it. Don't, don't feel embarrassed. There's no embarrassment before God. We are all before our Father. And one of the things I've agreed with God about is whatever he says anytime, I do it. The moment I understand it, I obey him. But if the person doesn't respond, too bad. I don't waste my time on things like that. Verse 13. Now when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I bring you word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. And when he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt I called my son. Then Herod, when he saw that he was deceived by the wise men, was exceedingly angry. And he sent forth and put to death all the male children who were in Bethlehem and in all his districts, from two years old and under, 
according to the time which he had determined from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet, saying, A voice was heard in Ramah, lamentation, weeping, and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, refusing to be comforted, because they are no more. Now when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel. For those who sought the young child's life are dead. Praise the Lord. Now, uh, I'm sharing briefly with you from the story about the birth of Jesus Christ. And I've called it, the topic of my sharing, I call it, give me space. Give me space. Jesus was born at a time when there were powerful people on earth. Of course, there will always be powerful people. And these powerful people can do so much. In this case, the Bible said they saw his star. So some people can look at the sky when a child is born and recognize the star. They look into the sky and they can know who you are just by looking at the sky. The Bible said they saw the star of the new child. And they knew that this child was different from every other child. Now, these people, the Bible said they came from the east. Not necessarily from Israel. They came from a distance. They knew that star. They recognized the star. They knew where the child should be born. Even though they could not pinpoint the exact place. Now, this is an event that happened several years back. And that will show you that the devil's operation had been so strong, even at that time. Do you think those people were prophets? No. The Bible called them wise men. They they were called wise men because of the way they treated the case of Jesus. All right? They are diabolical people who, who, through looking at stars, could decipher things. They could determine things. They could know what will happen. Some of them can look at the sky, and they can tell you what will happen in the next two years or so. Just by looking at the sky. It's just like those people we have around us who can look at the palm of your hands and tell you things about you. Just like the ones who can take sand and use it to, to tell you things about yourself. That's, those are the kind of people we're talking about here. They had, they saw the star of a child that was born. And they came to do obeisance to the king that was born. Assuming that they didn't want to do obeisance. The mere fact that they already knew a child was born put them in a position, advantageous position, to take actions against that child. And many children have been born like that who have been, I mean, who have been in trouble because of these terrible people that we're talking about. Anyhow, they went and spoke with Herod. And Herod became an instant enemy to the child that was born. And he did everything to stop that child from becoming what God wanted him to become. So what I'm trying to say is that there are some of us here today, you are battling with enemies you don't even know. Jesus, at that time, had never met Herod before. In fact, he hadn't met anybody. He was still a baby at that time. He didn't know anyone. He only came to the earth to fulfill destiny. And there were forces aligning against him even before he knew himself. Many of us are in situations like that. You are born into families where there were wars before you were born. You are born into families where the enemy was so strong and had devastated so much before you were born. And then you were born into it, and you grew into it, and you are battling with enemies you don't even understand their strength. And they come against you from all directions. I read the story of Mordecai also. And I wondered, why was Ammon angry with Mordecai? I guess he saw the star also. I guess he knew, he, he knew something about that Mordecai. Because Mordecai replaced Haman, you know. So I guess 
Mordecai, I mean, Haman, by looking at Mordecai, knew that this person is likely to become my replacement. And there was a battle that began almost instantly. Sometimes you go to, uh, you, are, you are working in a place and somebody is fighting against you. You are wondering, why is he fighting with me? He saw something about you. He knew something about you. He knew what you are going to become, what you are likely going to become. And he's trying to stop you before you get there. But you know what amazed me was that even Jesus, God had to take him out of town. That one is amazing to me. I looked at him. Why? Why didn't God send an angel to stay with Jesus? In fact, it was funny to me because an angel came to tell Joseph to run. <laughs> now, that's one of the strangest stories in the Bible. An angel, one angel can handle several thousands of soldiers. But this particular time, he told the child, I mean the father of the child, carry both the baby and the mother and run. And he ran. And then the angel came back to meet him in, in Egypt. Now you can come back. The person has died. The angel could have just gone to kill that fellow. But that's not the plan. Sometimes God himself we allow the battle to, to rage and get very heavy. Because he doesn't fight until the battle is strong. So sometimes God has allowed the enemy to think that they are strong and they have been battling in your life. Anyhow, my focus is we want to pray. Give me space, O oh God. It amazed me that Herod died. Not only Herod died, a number of children died to declare the arrival of Jesus. Now, it was Herod that killed them, but it had been prophesied. It had been on record that when Jesus comes, kids will be slaughtered. And that made him to replace Moses, because that's the same thing that happened in the story of Moses. The same way they slaughter kids at that time, to herald the arrival of the Savior. Now, in, in essence, I'm saying that sometimes... A lot of things have been allowed to happen. It's not to, to mean that the enemy is so strong. Go. It's because God wanted it like that. Nothing happens without heaven approving of it. All right. Let me leave that aspect and go on to my focus. There were some sons of prophets that were with Elisha. And they were living you know, with him. And he was caring for them. They were his uh, students. He was teaching them, showing them how to be prophets. And then at a point, they came and met Elisha. They said the space for us is too small. And it amazed me. Didn't Elisha know that the space was small? He was the owner of the school. But they came to tell him that the space for us is too small. And he said, okay, what do you want? They said, we want to go to the forest and look for some, some... He said, okay, go and do it. And then one of them said, excuse me, sir, we desire that you go with us. He said, okay, I will follow you. He did all that they asked for. Now, and that shows us something about dealing with limited situations. God will allow you to stay in that position as long as you are satisfied with it. God will allow you to wait. I mean, God will wait for you until you are ready to expand. You are the deciding factor. He told the Israelites, I will not drive out the people of the land again until you are capable of taking over the land. Which means that your pace determines the expansion that God is going to give to you. I don't know if I, got, I communicated that. You are the one who will tell God it is time. You are the one who will tell God, now do it. In essence, there are many of us that are sitting here that God has great plans for your life. But that plan will not be activated until you are ready for it. And the way you show that you are ready is in the place of prayer. There are things that God wants to do in your life. He will not activate it until you are ready. And the unfortunate thing is that some people live and die without ever getting ready for those great things that God is talking about. 
In fact, that, that is the way of God. Elijah needed food because there was famine. And God told him to go to Zarephath because there is a widow there that he had instructed to take care of him. And Elijah got there and he saw this same widow. The widow was gathering firewood. And what was she going to do with firewood? To cook the last meal and die. God had instructed that this widow would take care of Elijah throughout the famine. And she was gathering wood to die, to eat and die. Which means that she never had what God said to her. And if Elijah had not come to place a demand, she may never have had it. She would probably have died. And there are plenty of people who live and die. And they never started the purpose of God in their life. They never began it. And so God never activated it. What I'm saying is that you are the one who will demand for enlargement. Until you demand for it, heaven will not respond. There was a man called Jabez in the Bible. The Bible said his, his life was full of mystery and difficulties. Until one day that he cried unto God. And that day, God answered his prayer. Now, but if you go and check the record of heaven, it had been on purpose that he would be that large. But it would never have happened if Jabez did not place a demand. I don't know if you get what I'm talking about. Elijah got to Zarephath and saw that woman and said, Madam, give me water. And the woman said, well, I'll give you water because you're a man of God. Because the water we have, we are rationing it too. But anyhow, since you are a man of God, I'm coming. Let me go and bring the water. And as she was going, he said, yes, hold on. I'm actually a man of God. Bring more food. Bring food also so I can eat a little bit. And the, man, the woman said, ah, 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 let's not go there. The food I have is our last meal. We can't give you that one. We can share the water, but we cannot share... Our food, it won't be enough. Because we were going to eat it, two of us, and uh, die. And then Elijah, Elijah had to now prophesy. Even though God had spoken to the woman and she did not hear. So what I'm trying to say is that plenty of us, we are not hearing what God is saying. Because we are, you know when you are making noise, you can't hear when somebody is speaking to you. And what are we making noise about? Give me bread. Give me bread. Give me bread. Whereas God is saying, be a factory. The owner of the factory producing bread. You are saying, give me bread. Bread, 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 bread. You won't hear what God is saying. Some of us are pursuing journeys that, that was not far meant to be. One young fellow came to meet me some time ago. He said, sir, I have been processing to travel. I have, they have stamped my passport several times. I just, I just don't know what to do with my life. Please pray for me. As I was about to pray, I saw a vision. I saw him arriving in another con in a country. And I saw, welcome to, I saw the name of the country. I said, what country have you been trying to go? He has been trying to go to America. America, America, America. He said, America is God's own country. I just must go there. I said, which of the gods? God's own country. Which one of the gods? Anyhow, this is what I saw. I saw you arriving in, and I mentioned the country. He said, I never tried it. Go and do it. The first attempt he made, they gave him visa. He's still living there now. Because... He was looking in a different direction. And God was saying something different. You are going to pray this morning. Give me space. You know, there is no place you get to that you will find space. You, have, you need to create space. Jesus was born and there were some kings. And then somebody said, we saw the star of a king that was born. They said, which king? There is no other king. It has to be Herod. But whether Herod liked it or not, that king 
was given space. Whether Haman likes it or not, Mordecai must become the prime minister. Space must be created for me. So you're going to pray this morning? Rise up on your feet. I think I've spoken too much. This is a prayer meeting. You're going to tell God, increase my space, oh God. In my place of work, in my business, in my home, increase my space. Give me space, Lord. Do you understand that prayer? Give me space. Give me space. Give me space, ancient of days. Can you pray that prayer? Talk to God. Talk to God. So the Adura, so the Adura. Fear ye ba me ulua. You can speak to God in whatever language you like. You will still have time to pray your own prayer points. But just pray my own first. Give me space, Lord. I need more space. I need more space. In my work, in my business, in my home, Lord, give me space. Shale mambra kato sotelia. Ojimando lebre do kenso to flari kachanta vila kusta itaba. Give me space. Give me space. Give me space, Lord. Give me space, Lord. Give me space, Lord. Fashele mambra kato sofredi ekashe. Junevan blo korano saika liman shata yema. Ijele mambro koto soto liman to yema. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You know, somebody finished, somebody just finished his house and they just moved in. I mean, they were just about to move in and they asked me to come and pray. And I went there to pray in the house, on the house rather. You know, this blessed the house as we are moving in and that kind of stuff. It was a large house, four bedroom, duplex, fine house. And I prayed for them. As I finished the prayer, I told the man, God will give you more space. You have a bigger house than this. And I finished my prayer and I left. You know, some years later, when that prophecy came to pass, they now called me again. I was no longer their pastor by that time because I had moved further. Then I got, they now called me to come and pray over the new house. And I got there and they began to make a confession. They said, the last time you came to pray, and said, God, we give us bigger house. We didn't believe you. That after you left, my wife and I, we laugh at you. We said, Pastor, he doesn't know anything. A house this big, he said, God will give us another. Which other house? You know, sometimes you feel comfortable. You think you are all right. Because you think, maybe you are looking at the family you came from. You are looking at things around you. And you feel comfortable with what you have. And so when I ask you to ask for space, you are finding it difficult to pray that prayer. My father in the Lord, he built his house on a two, two and a half plot. He had space and he was celebrating. And one man of God came visiting and said, ah, Doctor, how come you, you squeeze yourself into this place? And he couldn't understand what the man was saying. Two and a half plots, squeeze myself. I didn't squeeze myself. This is good. And the man said, No, you need space. And I pray for you for space. Space. And a few months later, they called him to come and buy that land. They called him to buy that one. They called, and the place became a larger space. Then he understood what the man of God was saying. Space. You need space. You are going to pray again. Give me space in my work. Give me space in my home. Give me space all around me. Can you pray that prayer? Maybe you are even in a strange land. Living in a strange land. Give me space, Lord. Some of your elder brothers, like Joseph, like Mordecai, they were declaring, they're making, making decisions in strange lands. People like Daniel, they were calling shots in, diff, in strange lands. Give me space, Lord. Give me space. That is what God said I should ask you to pray. Give me space in my life, in my home. Give me space. In the name of Jesus. I am too small. Make me great. 
Make me great. Kali ma shata vila manto frediga santa baba. Ajame mbro kopolo mento so frediga kata. Ajele mangro poso toni akai. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You know, greatness, God can make you great. I will allow you to pray your prayer points. So, you know, our prayer points are wonderful. But I like praying God's prayer. I don't normally ask, have prayer points. I just go to his presence and I just pray. Pray in the spirit until he tells me what to pray about. But you see, I was going to say that God can make you so great. I read the story of, there was a day I did a little study on uh, Caleb. That Caleb that went and spied the land and came back along with Joshua. The Bible said they gave him some big lands. To the extent that when his daughter got married, he gave him some land. He gave her some land. And the, child, the lady and her husband, Otmir, they began to talk and he said, ask Baba for more land. We need this other type of land. And, he, and he, the, the girl went and met his father. He said, Baba, give me more land. And the Bible said, Caleb gave him uh, this other kind of land. Hammer. That's greatness. Greatness is to be able to have enough to distribute. Lord, make me great. I want to go beyond this small level where I am. Make me great. Can you pray that prayer once more? Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So me the big boro, so me the nil lao lor on me. I want to be great. Make me great. Make me great. Make me great. Make me great. In the name of Jesus. I'm not meant to be small. Because I belong to God. Everyone who have worked with you became great. Make me great, Lord. I know I'm too small now. Make me great, O Lord. Makashele ma brakoso pregedo she kalia. Magado she kaliman sha pregede mosko penira dudia. Anon jeleman to jeleman to shelaman dalaba. Are you sure you are praying? Are you sure you are praying? Are you sure you are praying? Seliman to she katela masaida baba. Lord, make me great. Lord, make me great. Give me space all around me. Give me space all around me. Give me space all around me. Kenura to Shatali. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, there are some people hearing me now. You have tasted greatness, but you don't have it now. You lost it. You have been great before, greater than what you are now, but you lost it. I don't know what happened, whether you were responsible or somebody took it from you, but you lost your greatness. I'm going to lay hands on people like that. You come and meet me in front here. But while they are coming, you are going, everybody, you are going to pray. You used Hiram, the king, to build a house for David. Let people begin to build for me. Let people begin to make me. Let people begin to help me. Do you understand that prayer point? Raise help in my life. You lost greatness. Come and meet me in front. I will lay hands on you now. Please come. Mashe katavila mu breso to pelire to sata. Iglebo shenta la badia. Brata sendo le ba no merunda saida kashaita bilebe to akasinda yaba. Rekato so fredia. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. Kato le man braso to fredia. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. Kelo menun satali masanta yaraba. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. Kepolo ninde sote di maye. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. Barino seketi yamasanta baye. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. 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 
I command restoration in the name of Jesus. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Yes, Lord. Thank you, ancient of days. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. Be a winning or did it one on me lower? Be a one like bad did it Latin on me lower? Raise helpers for me, Lord. Raise men to lift me up. Nikasho Telebeto Sika. Let people build me up. In the name of Jesus, raise men to help. In the name of Jesus. On your Bahiramu, Osiron Shello, one coin left for David. Raise men to build me up, to build my home, to build my strength, to help me, Lord. In the name of Jesus, raise men to help me. In the name of Jesus, raise men to help In Jesus' name we pray. I don't like the way you are praying. Maybe because I'm speaking English. Anyhow, our God speaks English, he speaks Yoruba, he speaks all languages. But you can pray better than what you are doing. I have discovered nobody becomes great in life without help. Somebody must help you. Somebody must open door for you one way or the other. But how would they do it? It takes God to stir the heart of a man. The Bible says the heart of a king is in the hands of the Lord. And like a water course, he stirs them as he wills. It is God though. If God does not stir the heart of people, nobody can help you. All this, my uncle, that you are fighting, fighting, you can fight forever. You will fight to grave if God does not stir them. It is God that stirs men to open doors for you. So you are still going to pray again. Raise men for me, Lord. I'm not looking at men. I'm looking at you. Raise men, raise men, raise men, raise men for me, Lord. Can you pray that prayer? Pashele ketoje, we are winning your day. You want to fear you, baby? Sale mangado shataye, ele manto to hile man soto le mangradesia, elombe shunte yekele mosaida kadebosia. We are one like bad today. Raise men to assist me. Raise men to open doors for me. Raise men to make my connections for me. Raise men to do it for me. In the name of Jesus. 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 Mate ye mango loto se kori akashe ide kole manu nekele aji nombe do koto singalaba oni ya kanu soi de kadima sata e June bole monte se kedia. In Jesus name we pray. Okay, let's pray. Let's go a little further. You know, some years back, I I wanted to build some house, a small one small office. I couldn't even do it. I needed just about 200 blocks. I couldn't even buy it. I struggled and struggled and struggled. And then one day, God was speaking to me. He said, I didn't give you strength for that. You cannot do it. It's not yet time. And then another time came in my life. And God said, now you must not rent again. I've given you strength to build. So anything you need, you have to build it. I said, ah, Lord... Let me just rent and be satisfied. He said, no, build. I don't have land. He said, go and ask for it. And within three months, we have finished building. Strength came. It takes strength from above to do it. So you're going to pray. Give me strength to possess. Strength to possess. Strength to dominate. Strength to have space. Give it to me, Lord. Can you pray that prayer? Give me strength from above. Agbaralati onuwa. Agbarati muni di biboro. Agbarati soni di alagbara. Onu agbe fumi. Be agbara onu wami. Give me strength. Keshule ma prodi esotole. It takes strength from heaven to do. 
give me strength to build. Strength to become great. Strength to possess. Give it to me, Lord. I receive power to build. I receive power to increase. I receive power to dominate. I receive power to increase. I receive power to increase. I receive power to increase. Power to increase. Power to dominate. Power to build. I receive in the name of Jesus. No man can receive anything except it is given to him from above. I receive power. I receive power. Give me power to build. Give me power to build. Give me power to dominate. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Hi, time is fast spent. Anyhow, you are still going to pray. In the case of uh, Mordecai, her man had to die for Mordecai to get space. In the case of Jesus, Herod also had to die. In the case of Esther, Vashti had to be removed. There are some people blocking your glory. There are some people blocking your establishment. There are some people who will not allow you to get space. Remove them, oh God. Everyone blocking my glory. Get them out of my way. Get them out of my way. Can you pray that prayer? Oh, sheka ya badia. Oh, guagbara atako. Oh, lua pale no mo. Beku lo jo no mi. Oh, guagbara atako. Every power that is blocking, every power that is blocking me, that is attacking my glory, that is challenging my grace. Keto si le motaya na choi le farina side akaria. Every power that is contending against my joy, that is contending against space in my life, take them out of the way. Lord, 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 take them out of my way. In the name of Jesus. Take them out of my way, Lord. Every contending power, every confronting power, every power against my establishment. Get out, get out, get out, get out in the name of Jesus. 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 Get them out of my way. 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 Every of them that is blocking my joy, that is standing in my place, that is limiting my glory. Out! In the name of Jesus. Get out! In the name of Jesus. Get out! In the name of Jesus. Mashile bade akoto se inde yeba. Elune no mi akoto hiye de kesun de leba. Ajire ma momo hiye koto zin de yeba. Ajire ma mro koto yemen to se inde kede. Ujade mango de man so te yebe niye. Ni... In Jesus' name we pray. You are still going to take that prayer once more. There is nothing that exists in vacuum. Now, life itself is not in vacuum. Look at this place. Before, you know, these thick trees, we planted them. That's why we can use this place now. It wasn't like this when we bought this place. We had to clear them out. Remove those things that we don't want and plant the ones we wanted. That place where their house, their house today, some things were standing there before. I mean, I'm just reminding you things that you know. You have to remove them. Even for us to use this place this morning, we had to sweep and remove some things that we don't want. Now, if you're going to blossom, some forces have to be taken out of the way. 
Some powers have to be taken out of the way. Some persons have to be taken out of the way. You are not the one killing them. Your own job is, Lord, take them out of the way. He has capacity. He knows which one to silence. He knows which one to cripple. He knows which one to remove completely. Take them out of my way. Can you pray that prayer once more? He can't go on lawful cunning. He can't lawful cunning. Oluwa, take them out of my way. Every contending force, every contending power that is blocking my joy, that is blocking my peace, that is blocking my establishment, take them out of my way. In the name of Jesus, you are the maker of the heavens and the earth. Power belongs to you. Everyone that is contending for my space, contending for my joy, out of my space, out of my space, out of my space, out of my space, out of my space. Koshi la min dore kasaida baba. Elege de bolono joy he de jebeli ato sheke de be de bosia. Hajema na makoli akata ya gode fadi asaba. Oje menjele be ni akoto sheke de bilo. Haji na jaile ko do hira kasaida katere. Oje menjele man sori o koto si atayaba. Oje le men to je do keri akata be. Haji na makoli masoi de kaya baba. Ole man broko bolomi eto soi de kaya man broke. Etori akasata ye. Oh, ni malaka sataya. Ejo le membre ke bodo hise kale ma shaida ye. Ababa ba hore man gle koto se ke de bosia. E mon glo koto sento ye ke de bosia la baba. E kete. O si le ba kure ba shataya ba. O le vere ke te ye kodi akade. O le vedo ye ke de shodi alaba. Eje vede ke de vede bolo vede. O go le veri kata sa ira ka je bele vedi akose. O je vele mo mraka do se ke de ke de bodi akabede. O ma bro ke vele ke de ke de ke de vede koli akadavade. A je le ke de se ke de vele ke de se ke de vedi baba. O je vede ke de vele ke de ke de ke de ke de ke de. A je mana ka di akata sa ka di ake se ke de vele ko di a. A je vele ko di ake da sa vali e ko to se ke de vedi. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I met one young guy. And I prayed one small prayer for him. And then later he sent me a document of a contract they just gave to him. Running to several billions. And I see, I, I, I picture him again. I look at him, that small boy. Billions. She pay a young one called the big contract to be in your phone when he. I was surprised. And God told me, heads don't grow bigger for people to be blessed. They are just, you, are, you, could, you, 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 are, you look so ordinary, but help from above just transports you from that level. Let me, let me tell you this. Yesterday night stroke, I mean day before stroke, yesterday. In a revelation, they brought three uh, what do you call it? Three 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 parcels of documents to me. And I said, What's this? He said contracts. He said, Tofek before meta, he said metani. And he told me that within this weekend, three people will collect that. And I expect, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting that some we collect from here. Amen. So you are going to pray. I may look small, but I need you to turn around my life. I want to step into my greatness. Excuse me, this is a covenant prayer. We are not joking here. God told us to come here. We are suffering ourselves to be here. I, you know many places you could be at this time. You have come to meet with God. Tell him, Lord, turn my captivity. Today, turn around my situation. Can you pray that prayer? In the name of Jesus. Oh, 
Oluwa yi gba mi sirere So te le manto so to ye ba Ah ah O ya Oluwa no wa gbara jade me ko to lo vire ko so ide kaya baba a se le vere ke to ye gede bo su akataya o je ni mbari makasa ide bole ni e ni marakato le basaida mu le ku se to ye ke to ali kasataya e je ni mambro ko bolo venu asaida kabe ju le vere ke to akese frodi e ke to asida ba Ajele mangole mambro ko polomin de zekete ye. Ijule mambre ko soy de kayaba. Agbara oru. Oya fi gbe ori mi soke. Agbara oru. Oya fi gbe ori mi soke. Agbara oru. Oya fi gbe ori mi soke. Mi kato sekete ye koliwa. Ere gele bodi e soto le bakaye. Eee. Makato say la baba. Bogbo agbara oru. Begin to do it. Begin to do it, Lord. Lift your people up. Lift your people up. Lift your people up. Lift your people up. In the name of Jesus. Kasule breke to shinda yaba. Ni pare ni mo prodi e kade. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are about to go for a break now so that you can pray your prayer. But before we go to that, I'm going to take a song and you will sing that song with me. As we are singing that song, the power of God will be deployed Amen. to strengthen you, to energize you. Amen. I need you to expect it. That's why I'm telling you, you sing it with the whole of your strength. Mumilo si bigiga he began me fair. Mummy lost the beginning. All I want to die. Mumma, mummy did that. Mummy lost the beginning. He began me fair. Mummy lost the beginning. I draw me like a Every power that I've held you down is broken in the name of Jesus. Every demonic power, whatever name you are called, 
that is blocking the progress of any of these people. I arrest you this moment in the name of Jesus. There is somebody there, you are always sick when your blessing is on the corner. There will always be one sickness that stops you. Put your right hand on your head. I break the power of that demon. In the name of Jesus. Ah, that person, come, come and meet me. Let me touch you. You are always sick when bro- breakthrough is coming. Come quickly, quickly, quickly. Let me just touch you. Every power, Kelly Masantayaba, is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is destroyed in the name of Jesus. It is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every power that limits your breakthrough. Today, in the name of Jesus, it is destroyed. There is a man who always truncates your your blessing. You see him in your dream every time. Whenever you see him like this, you know that that thing will not work. Because that man always shows up in your dream. Whenever your breakthrough is coming. That person, put your right hand on your head. I command the connection between you and that man. Broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Everyone who is under the sound of my voice, let your life be full of testimonies. This is April. By July, you will come back with testimony. I said by July, you will come back with testimony. By July, you will come back with testimony. In the name of Jesus. Expansion. Amen. Expansion. Amen. Increase. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Increase in every way. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Almighty Father. Jesus. We give you the honor and the glory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to be giving you 10 minutes. Let's say 15. 10 may not be enough for you. Within which you are going to just speak to God on your own. You have something you want to discuss with God. I want you to resolve it now. Can you just give glory to God for answer prayers? Give him glory. Give him glory for answered prayers. We want to exalt your holy name, Lord, for answered prayers. We give you praise. We give you adoration, Lord. We celebrate your great name. We honor you, Lord. The Lord that answers prayers. We bless you. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Now, three more prayers, and then we will close. Number one, every chain binding my hands, when you are, your hand is not producing, something is binding your hand. That's what it means. Every chain binding my legs, which is stopping you from moving. Any chain binding anything that is mine, is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Do you understand that prayer? You are going to pray that prayer and two more after. One, two, go. Every chain binding my hands, binding my legs, binding anything that is mine is hereby destroyed in the name of Jesus. It is time for me to go. 
It is time for me to go. It is time for me to go. Shalem ambra kaso telemaba. Ajemambro kopolo veni saila kade. Jalemambro koto liman sataye mambro koshotela. Rakatata le man saida kese le venia. Eri man to soi de kashe le ba. Greke gedunde son se le ba dia. Shile meni bodi a sata le mambra kataye ni son se le ba. Se le venimbra kasaida katela ba saida kaiba. Nio mo unio. Se ni ni ajute ferry. Oda beni pe ko konta ni duro tu de keri. Who you can lose it with? For no wala, she be no. For no tilana, no ruko Jesus. For no la, no ruko Jesus. For no yeku la, for no kal. For no la na, for no la na, for no la na, for no la na. No ruko Jesus. For no la. Testimony in the name of Jesus. Put it in there. Que ele vai chata vida som prede chacatia. O boi de todo dia o homem, e de todo dia semi. Cachê de ba no sai da ba. Is broken in the name of Jesus. Que ele man soto ye veni a cachata ya ba. Alagba. De sire catali man chata alagba ya. É o. Rekaba satale me shote le baladia. Wamu me ripe. Check boy you basa ben. Wamu me ripe. Eni kwa. Tim bizo sini. Ripe jodu kwa. Otwa di lolo jodu. Owa ge na yuko kema rona. Uba ni dani lolo. Eni kwa. Oti lolo jodu. Oda beni kwa jodu pa. Eka mara ni lolo. O ambino si, o luati no di se kema lo no. Se ti mo nsoti e ni, eh. Mo adu o mo adu o don o adu la ye mo pasio. Go boy de na oru jada. Go boy de na ye oru jada. E ni topa ni lati no je kuma no baba. Ona la ni wa ju opu. Oru ko Jesus o ti ribe. O ye shiri. E pada si miri. E pada si miri. Oru ko Jesus o shebe. Yo tu jara ju ti ana lo. Be ni ko. O ti ribe. O ni ko lo wa ju la ye. Yes lo. Kashi ni ma bra. E jule mambro sita ya Bopo ide maja Ide maja Ide maja Ide maja Ide maja Me soto li ma saida kate Bopo ide To de yure mi To de ayo mi To de ite si waju mi Oya maja Every limiting pack Be broke Every limiting power be broken. Every stoppage be removed in the name of Jesus. Salem and Prosida Yetia. Ejile man prosute le man to shadaya. Onembaro kasata le menekosia. Ejila makoli apara kasa idaka. Ojena mbele kole man zote le man koria. Ojeli man prasunte le baba. Lore koto se katela. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. Obodo jani. Obo ide ye obodo jani. Obo ide ye obodo jani. Power must change hands. Power must change hands. Power must change hands. In the name of Jesus. Niko sele ba ya. In Jesus name we pray. Number two. Every powerful individuals or persons, it may be one, they may be more, more than one, that are sitting in my position or that are exerting evil dominion over me. You know the way a man was exerting influence over Mordecai. I arrest you. I unseat you today. Lose your power now in the name of Jesus. Do you understand that prayer? You know, sometimes you don't even know who they are. But they are exerting influence upon your life. This time, this is a time of dominion. 
Don't joke about this. Huh? So you are going to pray? Every power. Powerful individual. Powerful persons. Sitting in my position. Or exercising evil dominion over me. I arrest you. I unseat you. Out in the name of Jesus. Lose your power in the name of Jesus. Can you pray that prayer? Pray. Lose your power. 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 Keshile ma bro kosotole. Ajele ma bro sotole. Rakemba totoye. Ezule ma prodiye. Ajale ma sotoye badia. Ereba bahole kasata yebosia. Iratale ma sata yetu. Ele goromi angolodia. Ejule ma sakata yebolia. Ori ma gadose ketoli aba. Ojela membrori akasai daba. Oji na ba. Kedua saida ka ojele membroko to lebonsia ejuna mbakato se kale maragabolo to so de yema ejelo memba so kede angela mankole monsa de bare rere mo so ile kayaba omo kuri boda ye wa ki woni Bagbara Oya Bagbara Oya Bagbara is it Oya Sere Oya Sere Oya Sere O Molo Gunio O Gunia Bugadi O Tilibe O Guni Follow my year I sit your lord Casa Tiliba Out of my way Out of my way Out of my dreams Out of my business Out of my family In the name of Jesus Osila makashai daba Opeli eto sote leba Ajele mango le barata Ele baro na kasa ilagasi Jele jele manto soy de kade Jesu Oluawa One last prayer you know, sometimes you don't intend, I mean, you, you think you are strong, but the enemy got across to you. They shot an arrow and it got across to you. Sometimes you know, sometimes you don't know. Some people here, you know that an evil arrow came into your body. So you are going to pray. Every evil arrow, back to the sender. Back to the sender. Hey! Back to sender. Can you pray that prayer? Back to sender. Every word in my life. Back to sender. In the name of Jesus. Every Back to sender. 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 Celebrate Kade. Celebrate Yaya. Yaya, let you Celebrate Kata. Eida. Need the window here, Mama. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Celebrate Kabu Sakata. Celebrate Mamori Akasai Dakali. Rekebeleke to soto yebedu aka. 
Jesus, it was a little bit of a house, but it was a so tell the in the name of Jesus. So tell the in the name of Jesus. So tell the in the name of Jesus. I command to tell the in the name of Jesus. I command to tell the in the name of Jesus. I command to tell the in the name of Jesus. I command to tell the in the name of Jesus. Go tell the in the name of Jesus. Go tell the in the name of Jesus. Go tell the in the name of Jesus. Total deliverance 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 in the name of Jesus. Bow me in the Lord for this. In the name of Jesus. Total deliverance in the name of Jesus. Total deliverance in the name of Jesus. Dear one, you for your arabe. To ruban your what's your get about me arare, new feet. Book when it don't say near us, you look at Jesus for your arabe. The one who shot that arrow, let him receive it back. The Bible says he would dig a bit, a pit shall fall into it. Let him carry his trouble by himself. In the name of Jesus. Every chain that have limited your progress by the unction of the Holy Spirit. Out in the name of Jesus. Every limiting power be destroyed in the name of Jesus. 
There is a woman, a lady there who ought to be married by now. In fact, you ought to already have two, two children. But somehow, you never get a proper suitor. They come and they go. Because they always see something bad about you. I stand before the throne of the Most High. And I put an end to that sorrow. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. By the time we are coming back in July. You, it's not just that you will have found a suitor. There will be a date in view for your marriage. Yeah. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. There is somebody. He's a lady. Bedwetting. Bedwetting. She's not here. But her picture is here. I decree. That sorrow come to an end today. Amen. That trouble come to an end today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There is also somebody there. Whenever something good is about to happen to you, there will be a fight. You and somebody will have a quarrel. And the moment that fight happens, the good thing is gone. I stand before your throne and I decree an end come to that sorrow in the name of Jesus. There are some people here, whenever they promise to do you good, something will just happen. And, you know, even yourself, you will know that they can't do it again because of what happened. The power that truncates your blessing is arrested today in the name of Jesus. Every one of those people, you will give testimony in July because there will be a total change. Amen. Oh, thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody wave your hands. Give him glory. Thank you, Jesus. Give him glory thank for you, answer Jesus. prayers. Thank you, Lord. Give him glory thank for you. answer prayers. Thank you, yeah. thank you ancient thank you, of days. Thank you, because every one of us, we have testimonies. Thank you, thank you giver thank of life. Jesus. Thank you, thank ancient Jesus. of days. Thank I celebrate Jesus. you, Lord. Thank we honor Jesus. you. Thank we glorify your name thank for you, your Jesus. faithfulness, thank Lord. Take all the glory. Take all the glory, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Open your eyes. Don't sit down yet. We are going to dance for some five minutes. You know the meaning of that dance? We are paying in advance. We are celebrating in advance. Uh -huh. So this dance is a serial dance. My drama. Do you need prayer? Okay, so wake up. We want to as only do la fe do. He say do and now. So you do as only do do for. But before I do that, before we do that, you know, I also have testimony. When we came in January, we had a house there that we laid this foundation over ten years ago, and we abandoned it there. After that prayer here. The Holy Spirit said, to start, let's go and do that one first. I said, I'm busy. I'm going to crusade. He said, don't worry. While you are doing crusade, you will be building the house. We went to Yola, went to all the places we went. And I phoned my bricklayer, go and start the work on that house. We are at roof, I mean, roofing level now. We started in March. March, middle March, middle March, huh? Mid, mid of March, that's when we started. This is uh, April, exactly about one month. We took the house. If you are going now, you can see the place. They are finishing, they are putting the finishing touches on the pillars and so on now. By next week, 
Amaberufe. It takes only God to do that. Ah, so we want to just give thanks to God. Emo di ti mo fi fe jojo yen le. Tori ti be yen na. Ngba te ba ma de in July mo fe ti se de be yen na. Ka te ti ki roof ti wa lori e. A ma jo nu e baba te ti plaster e. Even got cleaning camera plaster gun before July. Amen. Ati yen fe. Alagbara. Se ka na ti o re ko 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 lu mi. Da gbe be lo ti fe wa. Alagbara o la la.